Hi everyone, this is Jean Hansen, co-founder of the Janitorial Store and Clean Smart University. Now, as you may have heard, we have over 8,000 professional training videos at Clean Smart University, so you get access to this when you join the janitorial store as a premium member. And I've been going through some of the videos and pulling out some that I really think would be beneficial to cleaning business owners. Now, this is a hiring and interviewing series. There are three videos in the series, and this first one talks a lot about body language and it although I know that there are a lot of different th cues that you can get from body language, like from a handshake and from eye contact and so forth, this was a really good reminder and pointed out some things that I wasn't even aware of. And so as you're going through the interviewing process, this is so helpful for those of you interviewing for new job candidates because people have gotten so expert at knowing how to interview and saying the right things that it becomes hard for us to decipher who's really being truthful and who's being maybe a little deceitful. And so you, you know, really observing their body language can really help you when you have a gut feeling about someone, it can help reinforce your gut feeling or it can make you a little bit uh, wary and maybe take a second look at a candidate because their, maybe their body language doesn't match up with what they're actually telling you. So I'm gonna give you a couple clips here so you can get an idea. If you were working on a project and it was obvious to you that you were not going to meet your deadline, what would you do? How would you handle that? Honestly, that's never been an issue. Okay, so that was a really subtle gesture, you know, the move to the nose, um, but it is a clue and the video goes on to explain why that's a clue. So let's play another little clip here. do the three different chin levels of this person reveal? The first picture denotes the chin level of the first applicant. This applicant is likely to be arrogant. Once hired, he may find it difficult to follow direction or company policy. The next example shows a person lacking confidence. Although this body cue should be taken into account with other interview behaviors, if the position this person is applying for requires making contact with new or existing customers, this is not likely the person for that position. The last example shows an applicant with confidence and, based upon corresponding body gestures displayed later in the interview, this person shows a good attitude every employer is looking for. Okay, so who knew chin level would be an indication of whether or not they're confident or arrogant. Let's take a look at another clip. When a person is doubtful about their answers in a job interview, their hands will move toward their face or toward their ears. One example of doubt is touching or pulling on the ear when answering an interview question. When a person displays a body cue that involves the ear, it is if the person is saying, do not clearly hear what I am telling you. Okay, so pay attention to those signals when people are putting their hands to their face or their ear or so forth. So these are just a few of the tips that you get in this video. Um, it goes into some more detail and that you also get uh, a high or a training guide. So if you are training your supervisors or managers to help you with hiring and interviewing, this is a great video to have them watch. And then you can use this uh, discussion guide to go through the video. So after each section, it's going to prompt you to stop the video and have a little discussion. So this particular page, it's gonna have you stop the video when talking about handshakes. There's four different kinds of handshakes. So you're gonna ask your um, employees that just watch the video, what are the four kinds of handshakes? You, if you want to, you can use one of those flip boards and you can write them down and then ask the second question. Okay, what do each of these four handshakes reveal about this person? So rather than just watching through the video and then a day later they forget everything they watch, have a discussion about each of the section because it really helps to reinforce what they've learned about this. So this is a great way to uh, train supervisors or managers on helping you hire. Now, th this is just the first video in the series. So there's two more videos. I'm going to do separate videos on that. So watch for those coming up. 
soon. And if you are interested in getting access to over 8,000 professional training videos, HR is just one section of all these videos, then check out the janitorial stores premium membership and um, go to the janitorialstore.com, click on that premium membership. You can take a tour inside and we hope to see you there. And I'll see you in the next video.